What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with an unboxing video I just got uh, from Collector Archive Services, a batch of about 23 figures. And the they run the gamut from licensed figures to Polish bootlegs to a Russian or two bootleg, uh, Mexican bootlegs. We got licensed mint on card. I've got some customs I've done. It is all over the place with these with this order. Uh, it's a, it, I even got some first top, first shot prototypes, modern prototypes. So these are all of the, uh, uh, the certificates of authenticity. Um, I unboxed a couple of them, but then I gave up and I'm just going to do it live. This is going to be a very long video, folks. I put this in panoramic mode. Uh, my hands look gigantic, but I, I did that so we could have some room uh, in the camera angle to show some of these. I pulled my Vader's down. Uh, but here we go. I'm just going to dive right in. The first one is a really cool one that I told you guys I was going to do. And uh, this is a Russian Oratet uh, Chewbacca set. I showed you guys during, I, I have a video on my channel of uh, when I talk about the history of the Russian bootleg Oratet figures. And uh, I did acquire one of these sprues that have popped up everywhere since I bought one. <laughs> But they did a great job of putting a lot of brackets on there because this thing is ultra fragile and uh, the, the pieces fall off really easily. But what I did was I had Collector Archive Services uh, put all three color variations of the Russian bootleg Oratet Limited Company uh, Chewbacca's. It's based on the Power of the Force 2 mold. Uh, and there's three different color variations, mainly. I mean, I'm sure there's others, but uh, slight variations. But these are the th main three variations. You've got the brown uh, that came with the brown uh, uh, crossbow. And then you had the magenta, which is that's probably the hardest one to find. Uh, that one came with a magenta crossbow. And then you had the gold, which came with the magenta crossbow. They did not have a gold crossbow. Uh, to my knowledge, anyway. Um, but anyway, it turned out awesome. I, I really like it. And it, it came back with an 85 articulated bootleg with weapons, Russia, uh, Ortet Limited, Star Wars 2000s. You know, these these are overstocked from when it went out of business. The the, the founder or owner of uh, Ortet died, I think, in 03 or 04. And so there were some leftover sprues, but these all really started kind of late 90s, I would say, into the early 2000s. So all of the card backs that you find that are legitimate, not recards, uh, have a 2003 date stamp. So uh, so I just put 2000s for the, uh, for the time period. But what an awesome set. They, they did a great job of putting this together, and it looks amazing. I'll, I'll do a quick shot of the back. I know this is going to run really long, folks, so, you know, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I've got a lot of items here, and I, pr I promise to go into more detail uh, on these as I, I'm i going to try and display all of these uh, up here. The lighting's not going to be that great for this, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, next I have, um, I guess we'll start with, well, I've got one more that I, I, I took out of the package. This is the other Russian. So I, I already had graded the, the rare gr uh, metallic green flight suit and metallic orange flight suit boss. So I went ahead and, and this is the most common that you see on eBay a lot. But this is the Russian uh, Bosk bootleg in the metallic pink flight suit. So now I've got three of them all graded. Uh, and it came back with a 90 metallic pink or pink flight suit articulated bootleg. So that's the most common one that you see, you know, but I figured I have the other one, so I might as well grade, grade them all. Um, okay. Where do you want to start? So let's start, I guess I'm just grabbing randomly, but this is a first shot prototype. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out to another YouTuber named blacked out Ewoks. Uh, he had this on his channel. This was one of the very first videos I ever saw from him and I got so jealous and it really got me down the path of getting some of these modern prototypes but this is a first shot modern prototype of Poggle the Lesser um, this is from uh, the Saga collection and uh, you know a really nice really nice figure this is the Ge Geonosian war war room figure I guess from Attack of the Clones is my guess uh, I don't I don't remember exactly but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Attack of the Clones yeah AOTC uh, Poggle the Lesser, Geonosian War Room, first shot prototype. It came back with an 85. 
I, there's been a number of these that have been on eBay lately. I wanted to buy all of them because they had some slightly different colors, but this is an unpainted and it's got unpainted wings, translucent wings. So a really cool prototype and one I've been wanting and I saw it on his channel a long time ago and I've been on the lookout for one ever since. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Stanley who helped me uh, acquire this one. Stanley, uh, thank you uh, for help getting me this one. So 85 for that one, really nice figure. Uh, and then the other prototype that came back in this batch, I had two more in this order, but they haven't finished them yet. So for whatever reason, they sent this batch incomplete, but uh, I got two other prototypes that are on the way. But this is the other one that came back in this one. This is one I showed you guys ungraded, but this is a C-3PO protocol droid from Attack of the Clones. Also, I believe from the Saga collection packaging. These 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 Saga prototypes you can find all over eBay. I mean, they're, they're always on eBay. But this is an unpainted example. Uh, you know, the retail figure had removable panels, uh, but this prototype did not include the panels. But really good deal on that. And it came back with an 85 plus first shot prototype. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos, you know, all, all the modern prototypes that you send in, they're more expensive because they got to authenticate them. And they send you these certific certificates of authenticity that are way larger than the normal statements of archival. Um, but... You know, it's a lot more involved. The process of, of authenticating these prototypes is a lot more involved for the grading companies. But uh, that turned out really nice. So I'm glad to have that one to my modern prototype. I don't have a lot of prototypes, but I've got a few. Um, the next one is one... Now, I, I need to do a different video on this, but I did a couple of... I did a video talking about grading. Um, and we all know there's people that hate grading, and there's people that like grading, and there's people that don't really care. Well... I prom I had promised that I was going to send off one that was graded by UKG, and I was going to send it off. And I said it, it was a UKG 80 uh, YPS Stormtrooper. It comes with a GI Joe gun. It, it came back with an, it was the UKG grade was 80, 85, 85, I believe, was the grade. And so this came back with an 80 plus when I got it regraded. I wanted to show off the weapon a little better. You know, instead of having it taped to the side, I wanted to kind of show it next to the figure. But I said it probably would come back with an 80 plus or an 85, and it came back with an 80 plus. So basically in line with the UKG grade. The UKG grade was 80, 85, 85 with the subgrades. And so that's an 85, that's an 80 plus. That's exactly what this got. So, you know, it's it's the same grade, essentially, as what UKG would give it. And, you know, there's some cases where I feel like CAS overgrades, and there's some cases where I feel like CAS way undergrades. I've got a few of them, but I'm like, whoa, that came in way lower than I expected. But, you know, they might be seeing something that I'm not. So, but anyway, this came in right as I expected, 80 plus. It's just a regrade, but uh, it's just a, a test, so to speak. The other one that I sent in was a no country. That This was a regrade also that I, re I sent in to get regraded just to see how it would compare. And this one was a regrade. This one was a UKG graded 85, straight 85s. And uh, this is a Luke Bespin brown hair with uh, the raised bar on the back, blank raised bar. You can see right there on the back of the leg, it's got a blank raised bar. So I sent this one in to get regraded just to see what they would give it. And uh, it came back. I'm trying to focus this thing, but it's not really doing anything. So I don't know what's going on with my camera. Uh, but anyway, so this came back with an 85 also. So both, both figures that I had regraded as a test came back with the exact same scores, essentially, that UKG gave it. So whether that matters or not to you, I don't know, but I just thought it'd be a fun test. So, and, and the case looks really nice. So, um, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you a couple. I'm not going to open all these because they're not that exciting to me or to you probably, but I did get a few uh, Clatoos graded, and this one is an 85, and this one is gray limbs, thick skirt, molded face. So this is the molded face Clatoo, and that's nice. Some guy had, like, three Clatoos, and all three of them together were, like, 25 bucks, and they were all very close to mint, near mint. And I was like, well, uh, sure, I'll take that. So I, <laughs> I've got, I've already got, like, one, two, three, four Clatoos in my collection. So I've got these three now to add to it. 85, this is the molded face. So it's molded in that gray, uh, green plastic. Um, again, I'm not going to 
I'm not going to take all these out just in the interest of time. This one is a gray limbs, thin skirt, no country of origin. So this is like a tri logo, for example, Palatoy. And this came back with an 80. So I'm not sure what the difference was in terms of why this graded an 80 versus an 85, but uh, another variation. So you can see how that skirt compares. It's a little darker in color. And this is the molded face. This is a painted face. Um, and then the last clad two I got, this one is a gray limbs, thin skirt, painted face, Hong Kong. And this one came back with an 80 plus, or excuse me, 85 plus, 85 plus. So this one's the most mint, but this is the painted face Hong Kong. And then we got the Hong Kong molded face. So these are the same figure set. This is molded in green plastic and this is painted uh, green. So you can see it's a slight difference in color. Anyway, so those are the three clatoos I got. Uh, the other Luke Bestman, I'll, I'll take this one out because this is a really nice figure. And this is a made in country of origin with the Hong Kong uh, blurred out. So this is a PBP Luke Bestman. Um, I got this within the Echo group, I believe. I can't remember. It's a long time ago. I mean, I, I sent these in in like September or October or something like that. Um, I can't get this bag open. I mean, it's unbelievable. you think that I, I would... I know this is really fascinating TV, but all right, there we go. All right, so this is the other Luke Bespin I got. This is the Dark Boots. Um, and this is a blonde hair, Dark Boots. They list it as no country of origin. But this this is a PBP figure, all right? You know, you can see where it says made in. Hopefully that's coming through made in, and then it's blurred out. So no country of origin, but this is really a Luke... Uh, a, a PBP Luke with the dark boots and you can see how the dark boots compare to the normal color boots on the uh, blank raised bar so but this one got an 80 um, PBP Luke with a blonde hair and then I got the no country of origin blank raised bar brown hair uh, and then I've got a few others uh, I got a few bootleg uh, Polish bootlegs in this batch uh, this one is the uh, Polish bootleg of Obi-Wan. I did not have any, and this one came up a long time ago, and it was mint. Look how mint that guy is. He's got a really funny-looking face. I, I love that. Um, but very cool. And it came back with an 80+, plus. so this is an unarticulated bootleg. Look at his saber there. He's kind of getting droopy, but uh, anyway, it's very, very cool figure. The green is one of the most common. This one's cool because it's actually got the, the piece molded into his arm which i've never noticed that before i hope that's coming through but uh but what a beautiful paint job on him so it's hard to find those unarticulated in mint condition uh next let's see here this one is a third gen at at commander so general veers you may start your landing lord vader here he is this one came back with an 85 Beautiful figure, 85, and uh, articulated. This is a third gen articulated, so from the 90s, but really nice, nice condition, and uh, really cool. So that's that one. Uh, let's see. This is a, this is a Han unarticulated Han uh, Polish bootleg in a smuggler outfit, not the usual Hoth outfit that you see. So this is the unarticulated. Not in great shape, but I think I paid 20 bucks for it. But this is a nice placeholder until I can find a more mint one. But look how goofy he looks. He looks like he's been rummaging around in like a sandbox. But uh, uh, it's nice to have one anyway. Came back with a 60. So pretty pretty low grade, but um, it'll do for now. Um, this is a very nice one. This is a Luke X-Wing. And this is an unarticulated one. I've got two Luke X-Wings in this batch. The next one is way better, but this was really cool, though. This is uh, an unarticulated Luke X-Wing Polish bootleg, and it came back with an 80 uh, gray color. I've got, I think I've got seven Polish bootleg Lukes now, and I'll do a, a different video on those. Uh, but what a beautiful figure. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's that one. And then this is the other Luke I got. This is a first generation that I believe I showed you guys in a video before I sent it to grading. And I paid, I got a great deal on it in an auction on eBay. I think I paid $90 for it somewhere in there. 
which is a great deal considering it came with the weapon. But this is a Polish bootleg first generation articulated Luke X-Wing. My first first generation uh, Luke X-Wing. The rest of mine are thirds or the unarticulated. But it came with the weapon, so they mounted it next to it. And it came back with a 75 plus, 75 plus articulated bootleg 1980s first generation with gun. So this is, of the Luke bootlegs I've got, the Luke X-Wing uh, X bootlegs I've got, this is easily the, the most rare. Um, very nice. I mean, they're not super hard to find, but it's, it's just nice to have one authenticated as a first gen instead of the third gens. Um, I did get also an Emperor. Uh, this is the light gray plastic uh, color, and the, they did note it on there, which is nice, light gray. No country of origin, as they all are, and it came back with an 85. This was from the fake baggie that I had bought. I had sent in a uh, mail-away baggie with the box for grading at AFA, and they sent it back and said it was a fake. So the bag, the bag uh, they said, was retaped, re and the box was fake. So I took it out of the bag and sent it into CAS for grading. And so uh, that's what it is, 85. Um, so that's cool. Um, all right, next we've got a... Uh, we got three Mexican bootlegs that um, are very nice. And it's not going to look like much to the layman who doesn't know much about these. It's going to look pretty ugly. But I can promise you that this, of, the, of everything that you're seeing today, this is easily the most rare. This is a first generation, uh, first gener this is an early 80s uh, week way. And I've, I've, shown all, I've shown this one on my um, Instagram already. But this is like a, uh, there's there's two molds for this. I think I've got the other one right here. Actually, hang on. Give me a second, guys. Uh, there we go. So this is the this is the one I already had in my collection. This is a later mold that came out like in the uh, late '80s to early '90s. Really, this is more of a '90s figure. But this one, this one is a much rarer figure. It's an earlier mold. It looks I know it looks very close to the same thing, but this is a much much earlier mold. Uh, the vibro axe is thinner and correct for the period. And it came back with a 60, but this is a, uh, a much earlier version of, of this one and uh, much more difficult to find, um, but pretty cool uh, to see that comparison. So you can kind of see how they look there. Um, okay, and then let's see, I've got two more, I think, and then we got a couple of larger items I wanted to show you, and then we'll be done. So um, this is another Mexican bootleg that uh, I already have a number of these in my collection, but this one, I've, this is the one I've been looking for everywhere for. It, it's the Greedo Mexican bootleg with the red eyes and the dark green skin. I've been looking everywhere for this one. Uh, I, you know, for whatever reason, you would think it would be easy to find, but of course, as soon as I found this one, like five popped up in the, in the Facebook groups. But anyway, it came back with an 80. And so I've got three or four Greedos now, but very cool to have that dark green skin color with the red eyes. That's that's the one I was looking everywhere for. Um, and then, let's see. Last one is a TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter palette. This was, I guess, I mean, it's labeled as an 80s. I don't, I don't know, but it's super heavy. It's crazy how much heavier it is than a normal figure. I mean, it's, it's like, it, it weighs easily twice as much as a normal figure. So I don't know what's going on with it, but... This is a TIE Fighter Pilot. It came back with a 75 plus. This is a Mexican bootleg in black. So uh, that's pretty cool to uh, to see that. And I think that is all for the small ones. And then I've got four larger items. The first one is, a, it's a beauty. This one is a beauty. This is a 48 Seaback Revenge Sticker TIE Fighter Pilot. Just an awesome, awesome item. I got this one ungraded. Clear bubble. Weapon still taped. Is it? No. No, it's not. Uh, but here are the grades on it. Straight 80s. 80 for the card. Blister got an 80. Figure got an 80. So uh, 48 C back. But what a beautiful, beautiful card that is. It's unpunched. Really nice. I got a great deal on it. Uh, I actually found this one on eBay. And I lowballed him, and he took the offer. So I will take it. I got that a while ago. Um... So I'm trying to find room for all these. You'll have to bear with me. Uh, and then the other carded figure I got, or mint on card I got is a Cloud Car Pilot. This is a 65B. 
back. And this one had a damaged case, so I sent it in to get recased. It had a, I got it for a good deal, but it had a really badly damaged case, so they just recased it for me. And this was an 80 plus. It came with an 80. Blister got an 85. Figure got a 90. <coughs> this one is um, the 65B back clear bubble. Both weapon, both accessories are still taped, unpunched. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful cloud car pilot, and. Uh, Really nice. Uh, 65A, actually. Is it A or B? Yeah, 65A back, not B back. Because I've noticed they had the blacked out Ewoks, which is on the A backs. So, anyway, 65A, Cloud Car Pilot, but that's beautiful. It came back with an 80 plus. And let's see, last or second to last is another one of those beautiful custom pieces that I had done. Uh, this is the Lily Letty TIE Fighter Pilot. And uh, I had it just like my other four that I've already shown you. This is the TIE Fighter Pilot uh, Lily Letty. You can see the logo down here in your lower right uh, with the, the Lily Letty figure and card back uh, all together. But what a beautiful item. There's the weapon on the side. The card back had some damage to it on the back, but luckily it's just on the back. But what a, what a cool piece. And this came back with an 80 plus. So these are loose graded figures. They just display them with a card. So obviously this card back has damage to it, you know, writing on it from kids, you know, the kid who, who owned this originally must have checked off the, the ones he had. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, they don't grade the card. It's just for display. They just grade the figure. So the figure got an 80 plus score. Um, but it's just another nice item for my Lily Letty collection, which keeps growing. So, and then the last one is really cool. This is the last one of this group. Uh, this is a... Another one that I showed you guys a long time ago. I probably showed this to you a year ago at least. But I finally got it graded. And this is a Mexican bootleg uh, Darth Vader, a larger size. You can see how big he is compared to a standard Darth Vader. I'll pull up a standard Darth Vader. So this is a standard licensed Darth Vader. You can see how much bigger he is. It's about five inches big. And uh, somebody sold me the original card back for it along with the Vader and uh, the... The, you know, it comes with a Thundercats Lion O type sword. So uh, there were two figures in this line that I'm aware of the Vader and a Luke Jedi. I've got both of them. But this one still had some of the original plastic uh, from the card back attached. So CAS made it look like it's still attached, but it's really a loose graded figure. But they, they went ahead and made it kind of tucked it inside the rem remnants of the bag and then boxed it in to keep it in place. <clears throat> but this is um, a Luke, or excuse me, a, a Darth Vader, 1980s bootleg with the card back. What a, what cool art on that card back. It's got a Luke Bespin with a yellow saber. It's got a Han Solo, really ugly Han Solo, uh, a really ugly Leia. It's got uh, Chewbacca, Vader, and then Obi-Wan. But it says, uh, La Guerra de las Galaxies. And it came back with a 70. Again, that's loose graded. Uh, articulated bootleg. That's the other cool thing about these bootlegs is that they're fully articulated. The legs move and the arms move. But what a cool figure. And the, the backs of these are pretty plain. You know, the, the, the bags were just stapled uh, originally um, down here as well. But anyway, I've got a Luke just like this that is still at grading. And I, I finally found a, a saber to match it. So I sent that in a couple months ago uh, to CAS to, so they could match the saber with the figures, but it was hard to find that saber. It took a while, but uh, but pretty cool uh, to have <coughs> the have this one back. So just a really difficult to find item. I've, I see these come up for sale occasionally, either in the bootleg group or um, you know on eBay. But you know if it's still attached in the bag like still in the bag and not broken off it's it's worth a lot more but you know this is just loose graded which is sufficient for me it, it, it has the same look to it and uh you know it it was significantly less expensive than if i had bought uh bought it still in the bag so anyway uh that is really all i had i just wanted to share those with you i hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything and uh i'll be back soon